Yo, what's going on, Knicks Nation? It's your boy, come check out the brand new video. Before we get into the video, hit that sub button, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts on this video. But before we get into the video, hit that sub button, man. I'm close to 700 subscribers, and I want to hit it, and I want to hit 1K, and I want to keep growing, man, and I need your help. So, Knicks Nation, I know you got my back, but I just want to show you my support. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So, today we're talking about AJ Griffin, one of the most polarizing players coming out of high school into the college now you may say polarizing you might question it. You, you didn't even play that much what do you mean polarizing well in high school this guy was a top five player maybe the top player in his draft class he could do a little bit of everything on the court a athletic as they come i think he had a 45 inch vertical in high school and then you know his injuries here he had freak injuries with his knees and his legs and it kind of dwindled his athleticism. But he's slowly starting to bring it back. You know, he's only... If 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 he was in high school, he would be a senior. So what is that? He's only 18, 19 years old. And he's getting into the NBA. When he's going to be drafted, he's still going to be 19, going on to 20. So he's a very young player. And with young players, you still have time to get your athleticism back from injuries. You know, he's not 22, 23, where he's... Almost done developing. He's still 18, 19, and you can still develop for a couple more years and gain that athleticism back, which is why scouts are a little bit hesitant on AJ Griffin because he's starting to fall. Before the when the college season ended, AJ Griffin was the sixth, seventh ranked prospect. But you know, after people are starting to look into game, his game and see that his athleticism isn't there right now, he's starting to drop and. He's a potential pick at 11, and if we get him at 11, we won the draft. He's that type of player. He's going to shoot the ball extremely well. He shot 45% from three on 4.8 attempts a game in college. Now, if you look at his stats, they don't blow you out the chart because he was dealing with injuries, and, you know, he's, he's playing behind Paolo Banchero, who's going to be a top three pick in the NBA. So he definitely had to get the ball more than A.J. Griffin. So, you know, there's that. There's also Mark Williams who's also going to be drafted in the lottery potentially. There's a lot of players on that Duke team that are going to be drafted in that lottery range. And so, you know, not all of them are going to get the ball as much. And since A.J. Griffin was dealing with injuries starting the season and eventually picking up towards the end, you know, he didn't really get the ball that much. But he has shown the ability to self-create for himself. And he's known to be one of the best defenders in the league, in defenders in the college season. So he's gonna be a he's gonna play a three and D wing before he can before uh, become what he is actually going to be. So his, his bottom his floor is a three and D wing and that's amazing because you know everybody can use a three and D wing. So his skill set is very transferable to the NBA. Now if you get anything more from AJ Griffin, that's just a bonus because you're drafting him to be three and D. You know he's gonna play extremely well on the defensive side. And he's going to shoot that ball extremely well. Now, if you can get him to self-create, dunk on people, those are all bonuses and positives. So, yeah, guys, let me know how you guys feel about A.J. Griffin. You know, I know there's some people that aren't very high on him. And I know some people that are extremely high on him and see the potential that he could be the best player in this draft. But, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about A.J. Griffin. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button and peace out, YouTube.